Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're in Atlanta, Georgia at Georgia Tech performing random interviews about how the Venturi effect works and how common devices that we use every day operate under this principle. So come on, check it out. I don't know what that is. All right, that's great, thanks. Absolutely nothing. Nope. No. What about you? I have not, sorry. All right, it's okay, thank you guys. I'm not technically an engineering student. Do you know what it is? No. All right, I have a picture for you right here. This is a tube that has a constricted region. Uh, imagine there's some fluid uh, flowing through it, and uh, I just want to ask you, what do you think happens to the pressure of the constricted region as the fluid passes through it? Well, since the cross-sectional area is smaller, the fluid has to speed up, right? It's like when you are squeezing a hose nozzle. Well, I know for sure that the pressure will decrease. Well, do you know why the pressure decreases? Well, the area on the surface of the fluid is less. So, according to Newton's second law, the pressure will be less there and therefore it will decrease. So what exactly is the Venturi effect? The Venturi effect represents a gradual reduction in the fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted or narrow section of a pipe. It was named after Italian physicist Giovanni Battista Venturi, and amongst other important applications, it explains the basis for measurement of differential pressure flow in industrial pipes. Think about the pipe with the constricted region I showed to Derek earlier. If we reduce the cross-section of the pipe, the velocity of the fluid has to increase in the narrow area to satisfy the mass conservation principle, while the static pressure must decrease to satisfy the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. In this manner, any gradual increase in the flow velocity of the fluid is countered by a corresponding pressure drop. Let's look at the Bernoulli equation I mentioned earlier. The Bernoulli equation is a simplified way to account for the energy of the fluid at two separate points. Let's place the first point before the constricted region and the second point at the constricted region. The first term on each side of the equation represents the energy due to the pressure. The second term represents the kinetic energy of the fluid and the last term represents its potential energy. If we assume to have a horizontal pipe, the potential energy term cancels out and we can work our way to establish a direct relationship between the pressure drop and the fluid velocity. From this equation, you can see that an increase on the fluid velocity will have to be compensated by a pressure drop for energy to be conserved. Some devices will differ in the length of the constricted region, but the underlying principle is still the same. I hope you learned something new about the Venturi effect and I hope to see you back on our YouTube channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.